Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michon and I do weekly DIYs and hauls. If you're not new, hey doll, hey. <laughs> to the thrift store and saw some really nice items but did not know what to do with them. I have three different trays that I thrifted from the Goodwill. They had a really good bones as I usually say with all of my thrifted items. I absolutely love how they all turned out. They are so beautiful and super easy to transform. So if you ever go thrifting and find some items that have really good bones, a really good structure, you're not sure what to do with it, these three ideas will give you some of the easiest simplest way to transform your thrifted gems. I really hope you guys do enjoy this and if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new and love what you see I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I upload. All right dolls let's go ahead and jump right in. All right so the first tray I have is like this deep tray and it was pretty on its face with the florals on it. It only cost me um, $1.99 so this is what I say when it has good bones this nice wood structure and frame. So the first thing I did is just took a couple of baby wipes to give it a good wipe down because it was um, pretty nasty. <laughs> so I just cleaned that up and then once that was all dry I took a sandpaper um, that I got from a pack from like Walmart or something and I just tried to sand down some of the picture because it was kind of raised up so it felt a little bumpy so I really just wanted to try to get an even smoother surface. After that was done, I decided to paint the entire thing black um, using that as a base color um, only because um, I was afraid that if I painted this white first that everything would show through and I just did not want that at all. So I just gave this two coat paints of my ink chalk paint color from Waverly and I also did the inside so during this process I was actually uncertain if I wanted to paint like the inside of it and just all around I thought I just wanted to paint like the um the outside of it but I decided to paint it all and this is what I'm left with after I'm done with those two coats of paint um then I take my painter's tape and then just kind of tape off um in the middle so that part of my uh, tray is still black um, and then I just paint the rest uh, using my white linen or linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum um, and I give that two coats um, as well and then I also do the lip too even though I painted that black I thought it looked better with it being white um, once I let that completely dry I removed my tape and it looks so so pretty but I'm going to go one step further and give this a little bit of pop of color so I go ahead and put down my painter's tape um, again um, just so I can get a, a cute you know cute <laughs> just a nice decorative like colorful strip in the middle of the black and white I thought that would be so fun and so nice to have so after I measured out all my tape cut it down and wrapped it all around I'm using my agave chalk paint color from Waverly and I don't use it very often but I thought it would be so nice to use it here and so I just painted that and I gave that about two coats as well and after that's dry I removed the tape and it looks so so good I did not do any kind of distressing or any kind of sanding down anything on this I think it just is perfect the way that it is um, and I just kind of styled it with some random things. You could put anything in here. It could be a catch-all like tray or whatever, but I absolutely love it. I think it's really pretty and super functional. So I also wanted to say this video is in collaboration with some really amazingly talented ladies here on YouTube. Go ahead and check out the playlist. It will be in my description box below. And we have Leonette from DIY Beauty on Purpose that is co-hosting this month. And our host is Liana DIY. So you guys are gonna get tons of thrift store makeover, like inspiration. It's gonna be so, so great. So make sure you head down to my description box, check out the playlist and see what everybody else has for you. 
All right, let's jump back in. Next up, I have probably one of my favorite buys from the Goodwill, and it is this metal tray and this wood light, sh like ship lack thing. Anyways, it was eight dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, and so the first thing I did was removed a few of the screws that was in here to hold the wood together, and then I pushed down the wood. It was actually hot glued first and then it was screwed in so i didn't know that but it's all good because i just used a little bit of force and pushed it down so the first thing i'm going to work on is this metal tray and even though it's black i wanted to give more of a vintage farmhouse rustic farmhouse kind of look so i took my truffle chalk paint and a stipple brush and just started stippling all around the tray just to give it more of an aged look and I think it turned out so, so pretty. This is what it's looking like. And then I decided to go ahead and use some black chalk paint. It's ink from Waverly and do the same thing. So I kind of just like combined both of the colors and it is so, so beautiful. It gives that perfect age like rusted metal look it is so pretty um so then after i um am done with that i let it dry i mean it dries really fast but anyways i move on to my wood round and i just clean that really good with a baby wipe I actually had to use like two or three baby wipes because it was really really dirty um and then the easiest step to this is just i restain this using my honey um stain from verithane using a simple foam brush and just did one like coat of it i would say it's light but it's not because it came out a little bit darker than i wanted but it's still really nice once everything is dry just hot put hot glue down on the little you know pieces on the bottom and then i just screw it in um to the holes that are already there so i think i used um six or seven screws on here um it only came with three but i had extra and i just screwed it in and that is it for this one so so pretty and i love the way that i styled this with some light colors some greenery i think it is so so pretty and it's definitely going on like an ottoman or something i love this one you guys Next, we have this really, I don't know, this really weird tray. It was only $1.99 from the Goodwill, but I mean, it had good bones because it's a flat tray, like one of those normal like looking trays that you would get. But I was really confused about the, the middle of this tray and what they did with it. It's like laminate or something. I don't know. It's really weird. Anyways, after I cleaned it up again for this one, I took a scraper tool and just scraped out the paint, the dried paint that was on there. And then I took my Rust-Oleum white linen chalk paint and gave this like three to four coats, you guys. Seriously. It took a lot of coats, especially on the middle. And oh my goodness, you guys, I'm going to put you through the agonizing pain of this tray. It gave me so many issues. You would think this might be the easiest one to do. Maybe the metal one was probably the easiest, but oh my gosh, this gave me the biggest headache. I was trying to give you guys some simple, easy ways to do some thrift store makeovers, and this one was like, nah, not today, Amber. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like after I've done all those coats of white paint, and then I found Found this really cool pretty looking stencil on Cricut um, on design space so I cut out that stencil because I really wanted a stencil I didn't want to put vinyl on here I just thought that it would be really nice to have like a stencil anyways like have it all painted anyways I also put down some painters tape to give me like a border around inside of the tray and then I'm using this medium gray acrylic paint from folk art and I just go to town and start painting everything and I gave everything two coats of paint because I thought I would just kind of sand it down a little bit in the, in, in the middle just to give it more of like an aged look to it nah your girl was struggling on this one like a whole lot i don't know what happened once i pulled up the painter's tape everything came up along with it <laughs> and then when i pulled up the stencil uh vinyl every uh, the paint came up too i don't know if it was because it is uh acrylic paint or something i don't know but it was all really rubbery and it all came up together and it just yeah she wasn't she wasn't working for me like at all it's a really cool like design but it just didn't work so I had to repaint it 
gave it two more coats. And then I found this other stencil. It's at Home Sweet Home. And I was like, yes, this is going to be so perfect. This is going to be so pretty. So I go ahead and I put that down in the middle. And as I am smoothing this out, you guys, I weeded this stencil completely wrong. Look at this. The middle is supposed to be out and that like home sweet home is not supposed to be hollowed like that because when I paint it, it's not going to show the, um, the like greenery. So I'm looking at it like, girl, what are you doing? So I still go ahead with my plan and paint this using my agave color. I love the pop of color. I think it's so, so pretty, but it just did not work. This is what I'm left with girl. Y'all, no, girl, uh-uh, I it didn't work. So I had to redo it again, <laughs> repaint. Actually, I didn't repaint it this time. I just used this placemat from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with this one. So at least I gave you three different options for this tray, right? Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Anyways, I cut down the sides just to get it in the middle of this tray. And then I didn't like really how the sides were looking. It just looked like a mat was in there. So I took this polka dot, white and black polka dot um, ribbon that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And I just kind of bordered it around the placemat. Just use a little dab of hot glue on all the ends. And that's it. Finally finished this one. It made me happy. I really like it, but I like it even more the way that I styled it. I got these solo wood flowers. They sent me these gorgeous, gorgeous florals. And I just styled it with other things that I had. And I absolutely love this tray. It gave me a lot of headache and heartache, but at least I know where my mind was going. And I wish it really, I really wish it would have worked out. But hey, this is nice. And I love the way that it's styled. Let me know which one happens to be your favorite. All right, dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be blessed, stay safe, and I will see you on the next one. Bye! Isaiah. No, you say Isaiah.